Talk about Air Canada. It's dealing with a security breach after a St. John's couple found a knife sitting on their seats as they boarded a flight to Toronto. Glenn Deere was on that flight with his wife who discovered the knife when she attempted to sit down. They join us now from Little Current, Ontario. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Good morning. How did you and your wife discover this knife? Well, it was a pretty routine day. We went through the usual security. And in fact, my wife, uh, Deb, was, was taken aside and patted down. You know, she was just one at random. But we got on the plane. We went to our seats. And Deb sat down and was obviously looking uncomfortable and stood up and picked up a, a pocket knife. Oh, my goodness. Now, the, bl the blade was uh, in the handle, so she wasn't hurt. And our, our looks were really somewhere between eye-popping and astonishment. And the guy uh, next to the window, uh, he said, what in the name of heavens, you know? And, and we opened up the blade and we were just, our jaws dropped because this was a four-inch blade and it's a nasty looking thing and has a bit of a serrated edge to it. And we said, how did this get on the plane? I mean, did someone sneak through security with it? And, and then uh, the fellow by the window said, well, maybe it, it, it came from a mechanic uh, who was working on the plane. So I put the blade back in the handle. And at this point, uh, there's still people coming on the plane. So I can't do anything with it without causing a ruckus. So I waited till the plane was completely full. I discreetly put the knife in my pocket. I went to the front of the plane and I gave it to the flight director. And his eyes popped, <laughs> oh, no. and, and we, he opened up the blade, and he showed the pilots, and their eyes popped, and then he showed the ground crew, and their eyes popped. <laughs> and at this point, he thanked me for, you know, not having nefarious means, and I went back to my seat, and, um, and the plane took off. And later, um, he came back and said, uh, you know, phone calls have been made, incident reports have been filed. And at that point, it did indeed appear like a mechanic had dropped it. A mechanic who worked on the plane overnight had dropped it on, uh, on Deb's seat. Uh, okay, because I was going to say, you can't even get a toothpick through security clearance, let alone, we're looking at the knife right now. It's not small, so that explains the mystery there on how it got on the seat. Tell me, sir, have you heard from Air Canada with respect to this? No, well, I'm actually on vacation. Uh, I did leave them my name and home telephone number. Uh, and so I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of Georgian Bay enjoying holidays with relatives. But it's, it's kind of funny in one way because uh, we've been buzzed by uh, planes as we're sailing. Uh, pardon me, buzzed by helicopters a couple of times as we've been sailing. And my boatmates have said, Glenn, that ceases. They're looking for you. Unbelievable. All right, sir, we're going to leave it there. Enjoy your vacation. Glad you're safe and sound. Glenn, dear, thanks for this. You're quite welcome.